Now let's move to one of the very important uh, supply and demand calculation models of uh, HR. So first of all, uh, we need to just get the concept. This is known as Markov analysis. It has been named because it was uh, developed by a person named Markov. He was a mathematician. He developed many models out of which this one is used for the uh, HR purposes. So now what is happening here is let's say you are in 2022 and you are planning for 2023 or any year or any number of years. A uh, few things that you need to understand first. These are your job grades or job ranks. So let's say in this example, we have a plant manager. He's the top position. Uh, then you have the four person and then you have the team leader and then you have production worker. So these are the four levels of the jobs that you have in your organization. You can have any number of uh, levels, no matter how, how many levels you have, it will still, the concept will remain the same. Now, if you see, because it's a matrix, the plant manager, this four person, team leader and production worker. It is when you're going here as vertically, you have to go in the matrix horizontally like this. So these are the same jobs. Then at the end of uh, matrix, we have the projected supply, which means the number of people that you will have at the end of certain time. And then here you have the exits, which means these are the number of people that you're expecting that they will leave you in this duration, whichever duration you're planning for. Now, the concept to understand here is that in the coming year for which we are planning at the plant manager level, you expect four plant managers to be plant managers but you also expect that one of them is going to leave you. So this is simple. But let's come to this four man. This is a little, little critical to understand. Four man, we total have 35 four men. What will happen to them? Now, how many of them will remain the four man out of 35? So 28 will remain four men till this time. What is happening to the other uh, people? Four of them are expected to leave because exit, leave. And these three will be promoted or are supposed to be promoted to the plant manager level. So if you see 28 will remain plant manager, 28 will remain four person, three will be promoted to the next level, four will be exiting or leaving your organization in one way or the other. What is happening at the team leader level? So you have 110 people now. Now team leader, 77 are going to remain at this level. 12 might be promoted to the next level. 13 will leave the organization and this is a demotion, which means that eight are expected to be demoted to the production worker level. This is a lower level than team leader. And then if you look at the production worker level, you have 861 people out of which 620 will remain the worker, which is the production worker. 52 are supposed to be promoted to next level and 189 are supposed to be leaving your organization in one way or the other. So this is what you expect will be happening in the coming year or years for which you're planning. How do we get some idea after plotting our uh, Markov analysis? Now, projected supply is going to be this one. So now we are seeing is that at the plant manager level, four plant managers will be coming from the previous people and three will be promoted by this time. So total 
4 plus 3 will lead to 7. And then if you look at this 4 person supply, 28 from the 4 person already you have, plus the 12 people who will be promoted from team leader to 4 person. So total you have 40 people. Same goes for the team leader, 77 plus 52, 129. And then 8 plus 620 is 628. So this is how you get the supply of your people in the next year or next years. Now, now you have to look at the demand. And let's suppose that we have the same demand which is not changing. So let's compare it. We need five plant manager, but we will have seven uh, plant manager, which means there is going to be a surplus, surplus of two people. And then if we need 35 or four person, but we will have 44 person. So there's going to be a surplus of five people here. And if we look at the team lead, we need 110, but we have 129. So that means there's still a surplus of 19 team leader. But when we look at this uh, production worker, we see a significant decrease in the number of people that we will have at the end of certain time. So here we need 861, but we will have 628. So there's going to be a lot of shortage here. So for this, this, and this, we will definitely move towards decruitment or transfer of these people somewhere else. But for this level, we will be going towards recruitment and we will be needing some more people. So let's just go to our Excel file and see how can we analyze this data. So this is our Markov analysis in the Excel. Here we've got a little uh, different grades uh, than we were talking in the concept part. Here you can see the grades which are from 1 to 10, 10 being the highest grade and 1 is the lowest grade. The same we have plotted here from 10 to 1. Expected exits, turnover in percentage and then we have some more data that we will talk about. So what is happening here is, here we are also talking about the current number of employees that we have, that is this thing. And then the required number of people, which means that we are planning to have in the next years for which we are planning. Now, what is happening here is that our current employees are 120 at the G10 level. So G10 level is showing 100 employees will remain at G10 level in the next year. Four will be demoted to the G9 level because might be their performance is not right or something and 16 are expected to leave. So this is 100 plus 4 plus 16 is equal to 120. So this is what we are expecting at the G10 level. The turnover will be 13.33% here. Same goes for these 200 employees at the G9 level that they will have uh, 8 employees will be promoted, 150 will remain at the G9 level, 6 will be demoted and we are also expecting 36 to leave. So this means here's uh, the uh, turnover level, level in percentage, 18%. Same goes for all of these uh, levels. Now, the major thing is that uh, we have a required number and then we have a current number. It is different at different levels. So our projected supply is going to be this one, which means these are the number of people that we will have at the end of certain years. But these are the number of people that we require at the end of certain year. So projected supply and projected demand, which is grade wise, G10 to G1. When we do some maths here, which is simply a plus minus, the number of people that we need and the number of people that we have. Now the status shows that uh, we, we need 138 people, but at the end of the time, we will have 108 people. So there's a difference of 30 people. We need 30 people. 
so we need to hire 30 people at the end of certain time here same goes for this that we need 230 people but we will have 166 people at this g9 level but here and at the g5 so g8 and g5 level which is which are shown in red are showing that we will have surplus of people which means we will be needing 300 people but we will have 316 people so 16 people are going to be extra which we need to get rid of do not confuse yourself with plus or minuses just do your own maths and see uh, what is happening so based on this status we can clearly see that we can make certain decisions that where we will be hiring people and where we'll be maybe firing people or de recruiting people and then based on this data we also have uh, the number of people who are going to leave us which is 6111 people are expected to leave at the end of certain time and then if you look at uh, the current employee and that is 29,638 employees that you currently have with you and at the end of certain time you will be needing 33,762 employees and turnover rate accumulative turnover rate is going to be 20.62 so this uh, one simple analysis can tell you a lot about what you might expect in the coming years so this is another very important and very comprehensive uh, method of uh, calculating your supply and demand and predicting that what will be happening in future where you will have to recruit where you'll have to decruit how many promotions will be taking place how many demotions are expected to happen what is the turnover rate at each level and then what is the total turnover rate the total number of people that you will be wanting in the end and the total number of people that you have and the total of number of people who will be leaving you 